Good morning. What does God want completely to do to you? We're in 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 23 and 24 today. Listen. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. To speak of what he wants to do to you might lead some of us to be sort of resistant. It's really what he wants to do for us. And what is it that he wants to do? He wants to sanctify us completely. Remember the word sanctify means really, literally, it means to set apart for God to make holy. And so God wants to make you holy. And that's a pretty good thing because guess what? You and I, we're human beings. We are designed by God to be holy. That's right. He designed us to be holy. We're not designed to be wicked or vicious or unholy. We're designed to be holy. Everything else is an aberration. Everything else is something less and crooked and off, off course. But he wants us here, he says, to be holy. He wants to bring us back to where he always wanted us to be. So he wants us to fulfill the human potential that he put into us, which is fulfilled the most when we are made holy. But of course, there are many other forces out there that want to do to us. And they're not asking to do it. They're just ready to do it. The devil uses many agencies to try to do something to us. And what is he trying to do to us? He is trying to reduce us. He's trying to reduce us from the potential that God put into us. He's trying to reduce us from holy beings to unholy beings. He's trying to take us down into the, into the purely carnal, the purely animal, and reduce us from our high heritage to something low and crooked and slimy. And he's been working on that, and he's pretty good at getting you over into that space. But the Lord will, will prevail, and this is what he's telling us. His work is to develop us, spirit, soul, and body. He wants to preserve us blameless. So that we're blameless when, did you notice in the text, at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus is coming. There's a day of judgment, in effect, coming. When Jesus comes, we need to be right. We want to be right. And all the forces of heaven and hell are converging on us, on this generation, because Jesus wants us to be ready when he comes, and Satan wants us to not be ready when he comes. Jesus wants us to be holy and blameless when he comes. Satan wants us to be unholy and blame-filled when, when Jesus comes. Satan wants us to be lost. Jesus wants us to be transformed, healed, and saved. And so there we have the, the difference all coming together, all converging, converging for you and me, converging at our head and our heart as we're seeking to be true followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, these forces that are trying to destroy us, they don't, they don't seek your permission. They are just, it, to you, they're kind of like the, uh, they see you like the wood going into the wood chipper. You know, the wood goes in in one piece and it comes out broken into a thousand little tiny shreds. And that's the way the devil would uh, be glad to do is just to destroy us and run us all through the wood chipper. But God would like to prevent that. And he's on your side. Did you notice what it says here in the text? It says, he who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. And I'm going to rest on that promise today, and you can too. He is faithful. He is ready to, to fill this, fulfill this promise and take us to that place where we want to go. Come on, coming up higher to higher ground, higher spiritual place. And so let's take him at his word, at his promise here, where he says, let's take us at his promise at verse 24. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. We can be sure of that. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we notice here as we come to the conclusion of the book of 1 Thessalonians that yet again the second coming is in focus, and we want to be ready, Lord. We want to be holy. We want to be sanctified. We want to be blameless. We don't want to go through the devil's wood chipper, Lord. We want to be right, and, and uh, so, Lord, help us in this hour. Help us to come up higher. Thank you for Jesus, Lord. Thank you for the call to, to come to him. And we ask you, Lord, help us. Help us to run to Jesus. Thank you for this extremely powerful promise at verse 24. Lord, you go ahead and, and let us just surrender to you so you can do this. Help us to cooperate with you so that you're allowed in our experience to do this. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today as we watch, as we watch and pray, as we seek to be right right with each other, the fellow humans, and with the Lord Jesus.